Let's do some more inequalities work, but this time with two variables. Um, so this is going to be kind of like linear equations, um, like y equals mx plus b, but with inequalities. So let's let's take a uh, maybe we have y is greater than x plus two might be our first equation. So the the way we do these um, inequality things, the way we graph these things, is we start out by plotting the line that this would correspond to. What's what's the boundary of this inequality? Well, the boundary of this inequality is the line y equals x plus 2. And uh, if we plot that line, well, we have a y-intercept of 2 and a slope of 1. So since this line is um, is greater than um, and not equal to, we're going to leave this as a dotted line. If it were greater than or equal to, then we'd keep it as a solid line. But since it's greater than but not equal to, um, we're going to leave it as a dotted line. Um, for example, because the 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 y-intercept um, or like any point on the line, for example, the y-intercept. Um, uh, y is 2, x is 0, does not satisfy this, because 2 is not bigger than 0 plus 2, so that's why we don't shade it in. Um, so so, so what, what points does this, uh, do, do satisfy this equation? Well, is either going to be totally this side, or totally this side of the line? Um, easy way to check is by putting in a test point, like maybe take the origin, take 0, 0. Um, does 0, 0 work? Um, well, then we, we, we plug it in. So let's check. Is 0 greater than 0 plus 2? Uh, no, because that says 0 is bigger than 2. Um, so no. So we don't shade this side. Instead, we shade this side. So this is what our solution looks like. Uh, just to convince you of this, if, if we take like just some random point here. Uh, maybe take uh, maybe this point. That's like um, that's like negative ten zero maybe. I'm gonna plug that in. That should satisfy this inequality. Um, let's try it. Um, y is zero. It's greater than negative ten plus two. Uh, well, yeah, because um, zero is bigger than negative 8, and that's what negative 10 plus 2 is. So yeah, that, that checks out. Another way to see this is this, this is saying that y is greater than x plus 2. So if we have the, the line here, um, then we we just want to graph where, where y is bigger than um, what this, this line says. So yeah, y is greater than means graph above the line. If it, were, if it were y is less than, then we graph below the line all over here. Um, so let's let's do another example. Let's make it a bit tougher this time. Let's take something like um, 8x plus 4y is less than or equal to um, less than or equal to 10. No, not 10. Let's make that uh, 16. So one way we can do it, we can do this two ways. The first way, which I think is the easiest way, is just to remember that in standard form like this, you can see the intercepts right off the bat. So like the x-intercept is whatever you have to plug in for x here to make 8 times x equal to 16. Like x-intercept is when you have y is 0, so this would go away, so then you just have 8x equal 16. So x-intercept would be 2. And the, oh, that's not, that's a y-intercept, my bad. Now it's an x-intercept, 2. And the y-intercept, so we need to plug in for y to make this equal to 16. So y-intercept would be like 4. And 
this time, this is less than or equal to. There's the equal to option. So we can have a solid line going through here. And which side do we shade on? Well, um, we can take our test point 0, 0. If we plug in 0, 0 in here, then that works. 0 is less than 16, so we shade on this side of the line. Uh, yeah, we could also go, we could also solve for y and do it that way. That's another way. If you don't want to work in standard form, you could do, uh, 4y is, uh, oh, that one's kind of messy. 4y is less than or equal to negative ax plus 16, and then divide by 4 to get y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 4. And that's, well, if we graph this, we'd get the same exact line. Our y-intercept is still 4, and our slope is going down by negative 2. So it still looks like this, and we can see, oh, y is less than negative 2x plus 4. So that means we need to shade the smaller y, the lower y, the more negative y. So we need to shade uh, everything with this side of the line. Either way, we get the, the same picture. It works out.